Question 6. The numbers in this sequence increase by 75 each time. Write in the two missing numbers. Now what we need to do here is realise that when it says increase by 75 each time, it means when you are going forwards. So when we go forwards from 725 to 800, we're adding on 75. When we go forwards again, we're adding on 75. That one's easy. 800 add 75 is 875. When we go forwards again, we're adding on 75. So when we go forwards again, to get this missing box on the end, we've got to add on 75 to 950. Easiest way to do that, quick column method. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. Put your 2 in, carry your 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Put your 0 in. We could carry the 1, but because we've run out of columns anyway, we might as well just put that 1 in the answer. So the answer to that box is 1,025. Now you may think, well, what's he doing with the first box? Well, I've deliberately left that one to the end because I'm going to get a different colour. Now, I did say earlier that when the numbers in the sequence increase by 75, that means when you're going forwards in the sequence. If you're going backwards in the sequence, you go in the opposite direction. And if you go in the opposite direction, you do the opposite. So when you're going backwards, you're actually taking away 75. So coming backwards would be take away 75. Now, that is going to help us because now we need to take away 75 from 725 to get the box at the start. So that's going to be a cold method again, but this time it's a subtract. So what this question is actually doing is it's very sneakily testing your column methods and testing your understanding of when a sequence goes forwards, you do the opposite if you want to reverse it and go backwards. So opposite is to take away 75 because we're going backwards. 5 take away 5 is 0. 2 take away 7 we can't do, so borrow 1. That makes 12. 12 take away 7 is 5. And 6 take away nothing is 6. So this one should be 650. But just remember, any sequence, if you go the other way, you do the opposite.